Hi everybody, happy Fun Fact Friday. Uh, this Fun Fact Friday is a little different. It's less of like a fun fact and more of a challenge, I guess, or like a way for you to enjoy your music listening a little bit more maybe. I don't know. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a total nerd for time signatures. I love time signatures, probably because I'm a drummer. Uh, so for those of you who don't know time signatures at all, I have spoken about them briefly before, um, but that is kind of the way that as musicians, all musicians, we um, kind of put context to the rhythms that we're playing, okay? So usually our time signature is two numbers, one on top of the other. Now the bottom number um, is most commonly either a four, an eight, or a two. And what that means is it's telling us which note is getting the beat, okay? So if we see a four at the bottom, that means that we're gonna be counting in quarter notes, four, quarter, that makes sense. If we see a two at the bottom, that means that we're counting in half notes, because that's half, two is half fractions. If we see an eight at the bottom, that means we're counting in eighth notes, right? So it's all about the context of what we're counting in, right? The context of the music that we're playing. The top number is telling us how many of those notes we're counting. So if the top number is two, that means we're counting two quarter notes. If the top number is six, that means we're counting six eighth notes, right? So that's how it works. That's just kind of a brief thing. Um, but I bet you know a bunch of songs that you listen to you can kind of feel that maybe there's a bit of a difference in the time signature, signature to them. So my challenge for you is when you're listening to the music that you like to listen to, maybe you're on the radio, maybe you've got your iPod playing or whatever. iPod? iPhone. People have iPods? Maybe. If you're listening to music, then try to count along. Try to feel that downbeat, that one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because sometimes I think you'll feel if it's a bit weird, maybe it's in three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Sometimes it's in two. That'll be harder to determine. One, two, one, two, one, two, right? And maybe it has kind of a triplet feel, like a one, two, three, four, five, six, da 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 And that probably means it's in six eighth. So there you go. That might make your music listening a little bit more fun. Next time you hear a song, try counting it out and try to guess if it's in four, if it's in two, if it's in six, and just try to see, challenge yourself. I do it all the time with music. But that's because I'm a nerd for time signatures. I already told you that. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Uh, we'll see you this weekend with the podcast. And we'll see you next week with just more stuff. Okay. Have a great weekend. Bye.